Good day everyone, my name is Pearl Joy Subiri and in this video, I'm going to compare the clone Arduino Uno R3 that I bought from Shopee to the one that is made in Italy. So as you can see here, I have pictures of the boards that I bought from Shopee and the one that is made from Italy and their specifications. And I also have here the actual clone Arduino Uno R3 board. So first is the microcontroller. So as you can see here in the picture that both uses Atmega 328B chip which has 28 pins. So think of it as the brain of the Arduino. Next is the USB controller chip. That one that is also present in both boards. It acts like a signal translator from USB level to a level that an Arduino understands. So both boards uses the Mega16U2 USB controller chip from Atmel, a major microcontroller manufacturer. And then, when it comes to the digital input or output pins, both boards have 14 we're in six can be used as PWM outputs. So this one. And when it comes to the actual board, this is it. And when it comes to the DC current per input or output pin, the one that is from Shopee has 40 milliamps. And according to the official site of Arduino, the one that is from Italy is 20 milliamps and both boards have six analog pins and when it comes to other components we have the USB connector or port used to load a program from the software Arduino IDE to the board and the board can also be powered through this and we also have the USB cable and a built-in pin 13 LED, this one, and in this board, and the TX and RX LEDs, or in TX stands for transmit and RX stands for receive. This indicator LEDs blink whenever the board is transmitting or receiving data. And we also have the reset button and two 47 microfarad 25 volts electrolytic capacitors and in the actual board these are the two capacitors we also have the power port here where in the board can be powered through an AC to DC adapter or a battery through this port. We also have the crystal oscillator here. Crystal oscillator and the voltage regulator. That is the voltage regulator. Yes. And when it comes to the PCB layout or design, both boards are have through hole components so as you can see here that they are mounted through holes only that the one that is bought from shopee has imperfect printing and the one that is from italy is more aesthetic and better quality and when it comes to pcb quality or quality of soldering the one that is bought from shopee is lead soldered and the one that is from Italy is lead-free soldered, which is good because lead can cause lead poisoning. And when it comes to the memory size, since, since both boards uses the Atmega 328P, they have equal memory size. So, um, the flash memory is 32 kilobytes of which 0.5 kilobyte used by boot loader 
wherein the program loaded from Arduino IDE is stored here. And then, when it comes to the static random access memory or SRAM, or the runtime memory is the is 2 kilobytes. And when it comes to the electrically erasable programmable read-only memory or the EEPROM, which keeps the data even after device restart and reset, is both 1 kilobyte. And when it comes to clock speed, that is equal to 16 megahertz in both boards. So, we can see that the clone Arduino boards are much cheaper as compared to the ones that are made from Italy and still offers almost the same specifications. I understand that clones are useful for low-budget projects, but we are encouraged to buy the genuine ones or at least donate to Arduino to help them produce and develop new hardwares and softwares. Clones are only copied from the genuine ones, while the Arduino are responsible for creating something new to build innovations. So, that would be all. Thank you.